everyone, Hellcat here, and welcome to the third and final beta weekend for Guild Wars 2. In this video, we are taking a look at the Asura starting area. Uh, instead of doing just the first 15 minutes, I may do a little more, I may do a little less, I'm just kind of checking things out for you guys. Uh, so, here is my Asura. She is a feast, and let's get started. So for my skills, I have Steel, Shadow Step to your foe and steal from them, and I have Double Strike, Chain, Strike your foe twice, and of course my Heal, Vantage and Stealth, and Gain, Regeneration, removes Burning, Poison, and Bleeding. You there, get over here and fix this. have these hostile golems running around beating on things. Well, I'm gonna beat on a few of them back. There are any more to beat up on. There we go. I hear some noises. Hey there. My crew is on the verge of a breakthrough. These are little baby Asura running around beating on golems. And apparently this golem is terrified of them. I used my F1 there to catch up to it. And apparently I stole Blinding Tuft. Throw a handful of hair. Vanishing and stealth and blinding hit by foes. Okay, maybe that's not what I thought it was. health your target has, the more damage you can cause. Oh. And they call these golems, not golems. So, you know. Like Everything has a place in the peeps. eternal alchemy. And yes, they spelled crew with a K and an extra E. Those crazy Asuras. <laughs> Katie! How cute. She's crying. Poor Katie. Move along. Nothing to see here. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them. And by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Alright. So we shall go to the portal. Legs. 
Excelsior. Here is the portal. We shall go through it. Whee! Destroy the inquest goblins. Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. Armor. Takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Golem. <laughs> Modest, too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. Next weapon, guns. Shooty bits are always good. Can I get any better? <laughs> Indeed, I can. Oh, such cocky little bastards. All right, equip that. What is this? PVP light water filter. Huh. Okay, so apparently I've got a random PVP armor. Anyway, moving right along. Excelsior. In Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research, and we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. We see a fair bit of interference from the Inquest. They're envious of our advances and covered our research materials. Our researchers could use someone with your talents. On your journey, you may also encounter nefarious events in the world. Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help! As you get about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transportive devices more commonly known as waypoints. They're mini-gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. In the vast, wide world, a plethora of challenges await you, some more demanding than others. Watch for the special ones, because they'll give you an opportunity to increase your skill and exceed your own limits. The end. All right. So here we are in the land of the Asura. Take a quick look at it. Golems were built to serve. 
up no shot. Pyramides up there. Whoa! I don't want to do that. Turn back around. Ooh, so there we were. There we go. And all I could think to do was pull out my seven sensors and latch onto its nose with scream and scream. I've heard this. And we also have Golem chest. Which I had a hard time playing, so I don't know if I didn't quite understand the directions or what, but there you have it. And you can either play against the computer or you can play with two people against each other. And if I can find an open one a little later on, I will go ahead and show you a game. But these ones near the entrance are usually all pretty well taken. Not with playing the computer. Oh, this one's just completely empty. Alright. Observe your skill bar. Selecting one of those actions will send the order to your RC golem. Notice the fifth skill is recharging. This is the time remaining for your turn. Your turn will end when skill 5 is done recharging. Ordering a golem to attack or move forward will end your turn. Please remember only one golem can occupy a square at a time. You can turn your golem left or right as many times as you wish while it is still your turn. Alright? After your turn ends, it will become your opponent's turn. You cannot send any orders to your golem during this time, so you should use this time to plan your next move. After the game begins, some squares may become occupied by non-golem entities called power-ups. Moving your golem onto a power-up will benefit you. Please continue. The game will end when a RC golem has been defeated. Give it a shot. I'm ready now. It looks like the game has been going on without This is kind of a timer to wait to see if someone else is going to come play, or if you're going to play against the computer. And it's his turn now. Now it's my turn. So I can move forward only once, but I can turn left and right as many times as I want within the time limit. So, turn this way, and move forward, because I think that's a little... Yeah, that was like a little power-up. It blew things up. Right, and let's hit him. Okay, I understand it better now. And it's like I won. I'm not really sure how you can tell how much energy or how many hits each side takes. Let's try it again. Damage to the system integrity compromised. Maybe this is my hit points, but then how would you see? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, I think I missed my turn. What I do, Power core unstable. I have to, five, four, three, okay. yes. but I guess I could just wait out my turn. Emergency. 
anyway, that is RC Golem. So that's the kind of nifty thing about the Asturian starting area. So experiment on sleeping golems, participate in RC Golem chests, which I just did, provide data for golem assistance, and repair powered down control panels for welder golem. This is one of the ones you can experiment on. So the golem is in standby mode. How would you like to proceed? Enter charge the dynamis server. Ether charge the dynamis server. Uh, try next. Invert the mood matrix. Tweak the multi-phase polarity. Activate the golem. Damage sustained. System integrity compromised. And sometimes they'll explode. But they usually tell you before they're gonna explode. Help peacemakers weaken the multifunctioning PS today call. Calculating efficiency. Please wait. <laughs> One thousand four hundred and seventeen errors. Oh, is that all? That should be fine. Just fine. Manual reboot required. Oh. Revive. Oh. Oh. I just like to pick random things. Power core unstable. Explosion in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. This has been a test of the Golem evacuation system. Power core unstable. Explosion in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Also, the Sura Dodge is this cool. This has been they a test the of the Golem evacuation system. Like a ninja. Damage sustained. System integrity compromised. That. Quest for the main storyline, essentially. So, something that is new are these undiscovered vistas or vistas represented by these double triangles and basically they're in well so far i haven't encountered any that were ridiculously hard to reach places or anything like that um but they do usually require a little jumping or um walking across narrow ledges or things like that to sort of get to them but once you get to them it's just kind of a sort of scenic cutscene so let's see if we can get to this one here Oh no! Alright. 
Yeah, so this is the one where the little kids fucked all the shit up. I have no idea what I just picked up. Releases energy that damages and blinds your target. Target may become enlarged. Hit up to three foes with a single shot. The first target is blinded, the second is dazed, and the third is stunned. Any progenies to their normal Are you size. one of the progenies? Uh, so what are the tiny progenies? Because I don't see them. Oh, fun's over. To an acceptable and appropriate size. Okay, so anyway. Not quite sure what happened there. But the first time I came through here, they were like fighting a huge battle in here. So anyway. No, just one more time, please. Only this time. And I've got to try to remember how to get to that. I know it's on top, and I know you get up there by the outside somehow. Uh, that might be it. The stairs. Part of the way. I think this is the other part. Up. Oh, there we go. The map. So this is the vista. And then we view it. So this is Radisson, which is the capital for the uh, Sura. And here we have it. Giant pyramid with floating blocks of doom. a nice looking night sky there. Uh, looks like there's a vista here somewhere. I don't even see it. Well, someone should check that then. Maybe someone should. I like the bank. I heard it was destroyed. It's my clue. Did you know water runs uphill there now? It's quite techy, I suppose you could say. Glowy, pretty, shiny. It's like a nice place to look out. I 
don't know if I can fall down there or not. But there you have it. Let's see. Ooh, I can. Hoo-hoo, wee! Oh, I was hoping to get all the way down. Crap. But anyway, that was fun. Oh look, it's the it's a cube. It's a giant cube with a triangle in the middle. How nice. So, <laughs> anyway, that is sort of the Asura starting area. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Is this going to be the race that you play uh, for release? Which is, by the way, August 28th. And as usual, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. And please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, adios.